Hello, I'm Colin McQuister and I'm the Head of Climate and Resilience at Practical Action and I'm here at COP26 on the final day of the negotiations. And the area that I particularly focus on is loss and damage. This is an area which really is the result of failure to act on climate change. It's the irreversible and unavoided impact of climate change. And those impacts we've learned in 2021 have occurred all around the world with the floods in China and the floods in Germany. But loss and damage is the reality for many communities, the communities that Practical Action works with. So I've been here representing the work that we do in those communities and really what can we do to address loss and damage? What can we do to help give those communities uh, a future in which they thrive and not just survive? Practical Action as a development organisation working with communities on the front line of the climate emergency has a role to play to inform that negotiating process. We can provide examples of where critical issues lie and how communities can be empowered to respond to them. So for example, with sea level rise, our work in Bangladesh demonstrates practical solutions that communities, individuals can implement to make to allow them to thrive in spite of sea level rise. And that's the role that practical action really plays, taking the lessons from those communities and integrating them into global policy so that everybody around the world facing climate emergency has a choice for a better future. The biggest obstacle to success in Glasgow is finance. Um, and this is an area which relates to finance to mobilize the actions for adaptation, for mitigation, but most of all for loss and damage. So I'm hopeful that we get a positive outcome here in Glasgow. Um, might be Saturday, it may even run into Sunday, but I will be here until the very end. Thank you.